Hello my friend and welcome to this another episode of Mobile Legends Hero Tutorial Tips and Tricks. In this episode, we will be covering one of the greatest assassins in the game, which is Natalia. What makes Natalia powerful in the game is because of her invisibility skill which allows her to position herself in a good spot during team fights, and she also excels because of her powerful burst damage output. What you're about to learn in this episode are comprehensive and concise guide about the skills and abilities of Natalia, two combos of Natalia that are essential in both solo ganking and team fights, item build and emblems, and lastly, tips on how to use Natalia properly. I encourage you my friend to finish this video till the end because I guarantee you that right after watching this video, your Natalia gameplay will never be the same. So without further ado, let the tutorial begin. Through her passive skill, Natalia is able to deal 15% additional damage when attacking enemy from behind. Aside from that, if Natalia stays in the bush for 2 seconds without dealing and taking damage, Natalia will then become invisible for 5 seconds. The invisibility counter refreshes if Natalia steps again into a bush. During the invisibility state, Natalia's movement speed is increased by 15% and enhances her basic attack by gaining the ability to blink directly behind the target and slows the enemy by 30% for a short duration. The target that was hit by the enhanced basic attack also gains a mark that lasts for 4 seconds. The target is silenced for 1 second if it receives another enhanced basic attack while the mark is active. Take note that her invisibility also deactivates if Natalia receives a damage, Natalia casts a skill, if Natalia is close to enemy turret, and if Natalia is close to an enemy hero. This is the indicator that an enemy is nearby. And this is the indicator from the enemy's perspective if Natalia is nearby. The eye icon here indicates that you are invisible to the enemy. And also remember that the invisibility does not deactivate if she uses regen or even if she uses a spell. Jungle creeps can see her even if her passive skill is active. The lethal wanderer also becomes invisible if Natalia becomes invisible. With skill 1, Natalia dashes forward dealing physical damage to enemies along the way. If you successfully hit any enemies with your skill 1, you can cast it again to deal another physical damage to enemies. This skill is also great to use in escaping from enemies. With skill 2, Natalia can cast a smoke bomb around her that lasts for 4 seconds. Enemies inside the smoke bomb will be slowed by 40% during the whole duration. As long as Natalia is inside the smoke bomb, she gains immunity to all physical attack and also increases her attack speed by 25%. Take note that the smoke bomb doesn't work on enemy turrets. Through her ultimate skill, Natalia activates her passive skill and becomes invisible instantly. Aside from that, her physical attack is enhanced for 3 seconds depending on the skill level. Level 1 gives you 20 physical attack bonus, level 2 gives you 35 physical attack bonus, and the level 3 gives you additional 50 physical attack bonus. This skill can be used again after 5 seconds. Now that you're already knowledgeable about the skills and abilities of Natalia, let us now dive into her powerful combos. So basically, there are only two types of combos that I will be showing you in this video. I found these combos essential and they have their own purpose depending on different situations. The first combo I am about to show you is what I call the fake out. I find this combo suitable to use to targets that has predictable control skills. 
through this combo you are trying to deceive your enemy of your movement direction which will significantly decrease their accuracy in using their control skills. So this is how to initiate the combo properly. First is, hide in the bush for 2 seconds to activate your invisibility. Once invisible, use your enhanced basic attack and immediately use your first kill away from your target as if you are trying to escape. And after that, use your ultimate skill and immediately use your enhanced basic attack. And finally, dash away from your target to deal additional physical damage and to also serve as your exit just in case you failed to kill your target. You may also use your execute spell to secure an enemy kill. By the way, the technique in order to do a fast successive basic attack is to press the basic attack button only once right at the start of the combo. If you do this, the basic attack will just execute automatically without pressing the attack button. Here is a hand cam to give you a better idea. This next combo is used to instantly silence squishy heroes that has blink skills. Doing so will prevent enemies in using their blink or dash skills therefore preventing them from escaping. So this is how to initiate the combo. First is, hide in the bush for 2 seconds to activate your invisibility. Once invisible, use your enhanced basic attack and immediately use your ultimate skill. After that, use your enhanced basic attack again for the second time in order to silence your target. And finally, use your first skill twice for additional damage. You may then use your second skill and execute spell just in case you fail to kill your enemy with a combo. By the way my friend, if you are learning and you like this video, please give us your support by giving this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel for more Mobile Legends Hero Tutorial Tips and Tricks. And don't forget to hit the bell icon so you will never miss our valuable upcoming Mobile Legends guides. So these are the item build that I can recommend for Natalia. For the foot gear, I highly recommend the rapid boots to augment the roaming capability of Natalia. Through this item, you can roam throughout the map faster, therefore helping your teammates also faster. 
you may also blast your boots with Dire Hit Roam skill to increase your burst damage output if in case no one from your team equips a roaming boots. Then for the core items, I prefer to use the Blade of Heptasis, Endless Battle, and Demon Hunter Sword. These items greatly enhances the burst capabilities of Natalia which will help you kill soft and squishy heroes easily. To give you an idea, here is the demonstration of the said core items. Right after building the core items, you can build the Malefic Roar for physical penetration and Blade of Despair to further increase the physical attack of Natalia. Always remember my friend that these items are not absolute and will always vary depending on your strategy and also on different situations. For the emblem, I highly recommend the Assassin Emblem with Killing Spree or the High Enjoy Talent. The Assassin Emblem will provide you more movement speed so you can roam and help your teammates faster. For the spell, I highly recommend the Execute spell so that it will be easier for you to secure an enemy kill. Now here are my tips on how to use Natalia properly. My first tip is reserve your second ultimate skill for escaping. It is unavoidable that there are times that you fail to kill your target even after a successful initiation of the combos. If it happens, you might put yourself in danger and using the ultimate skill for escaping can greatly reduce the risk and increases your survivability. My next tip is take advantage of your invisibility skill by placing yourself to a proper position. This is one of the greatest assets of Natalia in which you can go behind the enemies with ease and without being detected. So go behind your enemies during team fights as much as possible rather than going straight directly to the front line. Since Natalia has invisibility, then it is much easier for you to manually pick the right target by using the hero lock mode feature. Always remember to prioritize in killing targets that has low HP and low defense such as mages and marksmen. Since Natalia can easily escape enemy ambush by using her ultimate skill, then it is also a great idea to do split pushing. Just use your smoke bomb during split push to increase your attack speed, therefore clearing minions and destroying turrets faster. Now that you're already knowledgeable about the basics of Natalia, I am now inviting you to watch the next video for a full Natalia gameplay. In that video, I will be sharing to you the implementations of what you've just learned in this video, about my decision making, and also including the mistakes that I made. So that's it in this video my friend, I hope you liked this tutorial and I hope you learned a lot from this episode. Again, please consider subscribing to our channel and don't miss our upcoming Mobile Legends Hero Tutorial Tips and Tricks. Thank you so much for watching my friend, always remember that you are amazing. This is 1UP Gaming and see you on our next video.